studio with Nashville guitarist Johnny Highland. Hey, how are you doing, Eric? I'm doing good. Good. Besides performing at some of the town's uh, hottest venues, uh, Johnny has also appeared on the Grand Old Opry. He has recorded with uh, many artists such as Randy Travis, uh, Toby Keith, uh, Ricky Skaggs, many others. I uh, said, so Johnny, tell us how you got started playing the guitar. Well, actually, uh, at age two and a half, my aunt brought my dad a 1939 J45 Gibson mm -hmm. that belonged to my dad's father. Yeah. And uh, I was kind of like Linus with a security blanket. I drug <laughs> that guitar everywhere, and of course, the folks knew that that would definitely be a, a life for me. Sure. Actually, I was born with an eye disease called nystagmus, and uh, mm -hmm. it didn't take long for my parents to see that uh, after playing guitar so much on the school bus for other kids, that this is what I wanted to do. That's great. Well, Johnny, besides being a performer, you're also a teacher. Tell us um, mm -hmm. about some of the books that you've come up with. Well, actually, uh, real proud to have done uh, many different Mel Bay books, and uh, I did some on, uh, you know, licks and tricks, where yeah. I showed some B-bender techniques and slide guitar, and and uh, I did a chicken pig in part one and two, mm -hmm. and an advanced chicken pig in part one <laughs> and two, and and uh, there's many others. I'm not really sure how many were released, but uh, you know, being legally blind, it was very tough for me to uh, to learn via books, and of uh, so I found a new way of teaching, uh, especially myself, mm -hmm. you know, and I found that. I was able to teach other people and uh, to get a chance and the opportunity to work with Mel Bay was a yeah. big dream come true for me. That's great. Alright, here's a fun lick for y'all. It's an open string lick in the chicken picking realm. Sounds like this. And actually, uh, this lick, it's actually a pick, pick, pull technique with the right hand. So you're picking, picking, and then pulling on your E, A, and D for an example to start with. And you're going to use your second and and a third and first finger, excuse me, and you're going to roll from the fourth to the second fret. Do that same thing again on the A, D, and G. Slide up a fret now, uh, fifth and third fret, and that's the D, G, and B string. And then we're going to slide up one more fret to the sixth and fourth fret and do the same thing again. And then at the end, I just do add a slide from the third to the fifth fret on the B string to slide up to your E. And if we play that real slow, it sounds like this. Well, Johnny, talk to us about the Johnny Highland Band. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's a big story behind that. Actually, uh... After being in town and playing the local honky tonks and mm -hmm. uh, starting to do session work, I'd, I uh, actually had the opportunity to sign on with Mr. Steve Vai and the Favorite Nations label. Okay. And uh, since doing the first album with Favorite Nations, I, I had to form my own band, and hence the Johnny Highland Band <laughs> came into fruition, which, uh, you know, is a blend of uh, honky tonk, chicken picking, rhythm and blues, and uh, even some rock. I oh. really wanted to take uh, chicken picking to a rock market. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so the band's made up of uh, keyboards, bass, drums, and uh, hopefully this year, uh, maybe even a steel guitar in there. Cool. But it's a lot of fun, and uh, come on and check us out this year. We'll be back on tour. Well, Johnny, so many performing artists these days actually do have home studios. Tell us what makes your home studio different from somebody else's. Well, Erica, honestly, the, I guess the first thing would be that, you know, why would a blind guy need a studio, <laughs> you know? But but I guess, you know, I'm no different than any other guitar player mm -hmm. uh, in this business. You know, I have uh, been blessed to work with some of Nashville's biggest country artists in the studio, and it's always been a, a great joy to go to different studios around town. But... Being an artist and, of course, working with other artists, to have my own studio to just go downstairs and record in is just a, a huge dream come true. And yeah. we call it Camp Highland Studios, and uh, we've just built it, really. It's brand new, and, uh, of course, I've been blessed by Oral X and Mojave Mics and, and uh, Royer and uh, 
course, uh, Aviom monitors, and of course, uh, Digidesign, Avid. So uh, I'm real proud of it. <laughs> Well, Johnny, most people uh, do know you as a guitarist, but you also play many other instruments, right? I sure do. I think that's one of the reasons I had fun in creating this <laughs> studio, because uh, I do. I play uh, a number of different instruments. Yeah. I think I lost count years ago, but uh, <laughs> but I do tracks for people here. You okay. know, I do full band tracks, and uh, so I play drums and bass and, uh, you know, keyboards here mm. and there, a little fiddle and uh, a little wow. banjo and a whole bunch of other stuff. Wow. But, uh, yeah, I'm real proud of the, the talent God's given me, and it's, uh, it's a blessing to be able to put it out there in mm -hmm. front of folks. Johnny, do you have any advice for um, musicians or guitarists uh, thinking about moving to Nashville? Oh, absolutely. I guess the biggest piece of advice is uh, to never give up a dream. Mm. I guess, uh, you know, I'm living proof uh, that even with a visual impairment, you know, when you have a dream as big as mine, you you have to go for it, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I love to, to tell people that, uh, you know, I've been very blessed mm. and, uh, you know, this career is just a... Uh, it is a dream come true, and I get a chance to live it every day. So what I tell guitar players is to never stop picking because you got to do it. You know, Once you're addicted to guitar, you're always <laughs> addicted. But outside of that, you know, the dream is something that, that can happen. And uh, just follow your heart and be true to yourself. Mm. That's the most important thing. <laughs> Well, Johnny, tell us about some of the um, upcoming projects that you're working on. Well, I'll tell you what, 2011 is going to be a great year for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about uh, where my career is going, and I know it's been a, a few years since people have seen a, a JHB record out there. Mm. But um, I'm actually just fixing to sign a new record deal, and I oh. uh, don't know if I'm at liberty to say who it is, but, uh, but I can tell you this. For those folks out there that have wanted to see a new Johnny Highland Chicken Pickin' album, uh, it's coming. Okay. It's really coming, okay. and of course there will be a new tour attached, uh, both here in the States and in Europe. And uh, and also, I'm partners with Jason Macedo in a brand new guitar magazine mm. as well, and it's called The Sound. Okay. So if you go to uh, www.thesound-guitarmagazine.com, mm -hmm. okay. you can check it out, and uh, there's full lessons and tab, and of course, cool gear reviews, mm. and all kinds of fun interviews and stuff, and I'm uh, real proud to be a part of that, too. So, Well, Johnny, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's been wonderful meeting you. Well, it's nice meeting you, <laughs> and uh, cheers to Mel Bay. My hat's off to y'all. <laughs> I thank you for the opportunity to teach uh, via your great company, mm -hmm. and, uh, of course, it's an honor when people come up via shows saying, man, I learned so much from your Mel Bay there books. And So I'm very grateful and very honored, and... Uh, Keep checking out Mel Bay books. It's a great way to learn, and just remember, keep on picking. <laughs>